Hi, welcome back to Graphic Island YouTube channel. I am Abul Mansoor. Before getting started with Shape Builder tool, let me tell you its function. Shape Builder tool can combine shapes. It can also enable emerging objects, breaking overlapping shapes, subtracting areas, and delete unwanted areas. Now, let me give you a few examples using Shape Builder tool. Here you can see four different shapes are here, but all looks like are similar to you. In fact, they are not similar. This can identify easily by Shape Builder tool and it will make its own shape. So for an example, let's check out with this shape. Let me zoom in. Here you can see two different curves are drawn over this rectangular shape. So one curve is completely closed from one end to the other end. But the other curve is not fully closed. One end is completely closed, but the other end is opened. In this case, Shape Builder tool can only make two shapes here. One which is completely closed by this curve and another by combining this and this as here is no close point. So because of this leakage, here only possible of making only one more shape. So let me select it and take the Shape Builder tool. I'll change the color and I'll make one shape. And when we'll click here, you can see here, this shape is completely covering this area and this area because of this leakage. So I'll make one more shape here by changing the color. Now let's go with this shape. So here we can make three different shapes. One, which is completely closed. Another, which is again completely closed. And here also another completely closed. So this case why we can make three shapes because if you look at here this boundary is completely sealed and here also it is completely closed. So let me select this one take shape builder tool. I'll change the color each time for each shape. And we made three shapes here. Now let's check with the other option. In this case, we can also make three shapes. One is completely closed here and another uh, here it is completely closed, but here little bit open and which is uh, attached to this one and this one. So here we can make three different shapes. So here I'll make one more. Take Shape Builder tool, I'll change the color. So here you can see this is completely closed here. So I can make one here. This is also completely closed from here to here. So I'll make one more here. And here this is also completely closed. You can make here, here, and here. We can make here five different shapes. So whenever you design, you must have to keep in mind that there must not be any leakages. The boundaries should be completely sealed or completely closed so that the color will not pass to the third object and it makes different shapes easily. Now let me give you another example. It seems like similar, but they are different because this is already expanded and this is not yet expanded. So I'll select this one and I'll take this Shape Builder tool here. Everything is closed here uh, because of using circles. So what I'll do, I'll combine this shape and this shape and I'll make here one shape. Just drag it and it makes one shape. And to make different shapes, just click over this. Click over this. And if you want to combine this one and this one, you can do it. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll make uh, different shapes and then I'll combine this one, this one, and this one. So now I want to combine this one and this one. So just you need to select this one and this one. Even if you select whole, no problem. Now you can take Shape Builder tool. You can change, take any third color options and you can make a shape here. 
so i'll take a different color let me take this color red color and i'll make a shape here if you want to delete this portion in case of deleting you need to press alt key and click over it it will delete it here you can see the outline because while we are making the shape the outline was on so now i'll remove the outline so i'll select this and i'll remove this black color outline here now if you want to delete this one you can simply delete it if you want to combine them all then by using shape builder tool you can just drag it and you, you can make a one shape if i select this one i'll take shape builder tool and if i make a shape like this you can make a shape also like this and now there is no outline because already it is expanded so if you remove this one let me ungroup it and if you remove this one the outline then here you will find the gap when i'll select this one you can't see any outline option here because there is no outline so you can ungroup them and you can uh, remove the outlines and you can make a nice shape here like this so here you can see the differences uh, there you can't make like this because the reason is that we outlined uh, we expanded the outline so how to do uh, outline expanded for an example suppose here you have drawn the circle this circle does not have any outlines I'll uh, give outline here I'll choose outline color from here I'll increase the stroke and now I'll drag it and make duplicate like this so all the circles are having outlines here so I'll select them and do expand after expanding if you make the shape like this and ungroup it from here you can do ungrouping and if you remove it then you'll see the gap so this way you can make the gap now let me show you the third example suppose this is the grid you can make your own grid also so I'll select this grid I'll take shape builder tool from here I'll change the color and I'll make a shape here suppose uh, you want to make uh, the letter E so you can drag it like this how much you want just simply you can make it so anything you can make it it will form a shape here now select it and ungroup it so that we can separate and place it here and let me delete those things now here if you want to modify it in this case you can take this pen tool and you can make your own shape suppose if you want to cut from here to here then make a straight line like this and after that select it take shape builder tool by pressing alt key just delete it and you can make a shape like this hope you understand how shape builder tool actually works i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this tutorial you can do support graphic island by doing like share and subscribe thank you